John from Just Whiskey. And if you enjoy this show, please hit like and subscribe. To what I've created in between whiskey reviews, first I started calling them supplements, but I think I'm going to call them add-ons. So today's add-on subject is a couple of things that I forgot to mention in previous reviews. And then I want to talk about getting caught up in the hype of chasing bottles, the cost of chasing bottles, and the burden of accumulating possibly too many bottles. How many can you drink in your lifetime? So going back to the Glenn Dronick 18 year old review, what I wanted to mention, which I forgot, was the Glendronic 18 year olds, whether you were lucky enough to get the 2019 release that supposedly has a 24 year old juice, or maybe you, you can just get the Glendronic 18 year old 2020 release, those both go for close to $170 US. Personally, I enjoyed the, two, the Glendronic 2020 a little bit more, although we're talking about splitting hairs here, in my opinion. But what I wanted to mention was, in my opinion, the Glen Allocky 10-year-old cast strength batch 3, which is non-chill filtered and non-colored, comes in at 58.7%. You can pick up this bottle for around $75. In my opinion, I think it's as good, maybe even better than the Glendronic. So, It pays to shop around and to listen to some reviews. Then we last review I, I talked about was the the brand new hard bag 2021 committee release. And what's interesting, there are seven R's in this R bag. So I don't know why they chose seven, but, but they did. What I wanted to mention is when I put a couple of drops of water in this beauty, it really changed and opened up. And I highly recommend adding a little, little bit of water maybe to, to your pour of this. Generally, uh, I'm not lazy, but I usually don't add water as a general rule only because it's just call it laziness i guess but it's one more step they have you, know, you have to do and, and when you just want to just relax you pour it and you sit down and you, you forget to get the little thing of, of water or, or whatever you know but anyway i think it's um it it definitely added to this one with water and i also wanted to say with the r bag is that it's an NAS, non-age statement, which I think most, if not all, of the art bag committee releases are non-age statement. Okay, so we we covered that. So I can move my notes out of here. Got that. Okay. So Right now, I probably have close to a hundred bottles that I've chased, procured, and and paid for. And, and I, I spent a, a good amount of money, probably too much money. But with a collection of even close to a hundred bottles, 
if you drank 10 bottles a year, so that's every five weeks, let's say, you polish off a bottle. That's pretty much like having a small dram every night, which is a commitment. So even with, with that, you're talking 10 years if I never bought another bottle. I have a 10 year supply. But of course, we want to buy more bottles, but I've become more selective because I mean, how many, how many can you possibly drink? So some of that has to do with, with price, obviously, and some of the more popular, hard to find bottles, some of they can be expensive uh, and even cost prohibitive. So talking about the art bag, so last year's obviously committee release was the black and I picked this up last year for about $140 I believe and this year's art bag pirate release I paid between 185 and 190 for it so they went a, a dramatic price increase which I don't know if it's justified or not. But at some point, I mean, next year, I think the art bag committee release, I think they're going to call it Scorch. And, you know, there's going to come a point where if next year they want to charge another 30 or $40 more than what I paid for this, you know, you're talking over $200 a bottle. I, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. But at some point, you just have to say, geez, enough's enough, you know. Um, so another example, of course, is the Octomores. Um, here is a 9.1, and generally speaking, the the point ones, the 9.1s, the 10.1, 11.1, they run a little less money than the 11.3s or the 10.3s or the 9.3s. Usually 40 to 50 dollars cheaper, but to say it's cheaper is maybe not the best word. Um, but the, the 9.1, 10.1, 1, 11.1, they're about $200. The 11.3s are closer to $250. Depending, you know, again, depending on, on where you go. Um, so in the last review about the Ardbeg Pirate Committee release, I compared it to the art bag 10 more and more to get a price reference and I made point that the art bags you can buy our bag 10 you can buy three of those for the price of, of this having said that I'm really enjoying the experience of this you know is it worth $190 I don't I don't know um, but I don't regret buying it for the experience and the, and the education that I'm getting from it. So getting back to the, the Octomore, in comparison, my favorite smoky peated whiskey to date is the Lechegg 10. Unchill filtered, they don't state about color, they, they possibly add some color. We you know, have to assume that they might if they don't state it on the label. But the Lechegg 10 comes in at 46.3%. And in my opinion, and from my experience, enjoyment-wise, throwing the cost out the window even, I enjoy this Lechegg 10 more than I did an Octomore 9.1 or an Octomore 9.3. Having said that, I did have a bottle of the Octomore 10.2, which blew me away. Um, that was just a phenomenal, phenomenal bottle. Um, 
But the Lechag 10, you can pick up in the United States anywhere between $50 and $60. Probably closer to $60 now. And again, you could buy three bottles of Lechag 10 for the, for the cost of one Aquamore, generally speaking. So, not even considering the three to one ratio, with the exception of the Octomore 10.2, Lechag 10, to date, is still my favorite peated, smoky, complex Scotch whiskey. Having said that, <laughs> This Ardbag Pirate 2021 committee release, I'm really enjoying this as well. But because it was so costly, it, I'm going to make it last a while. And I, again, once the, the limited release of this, its baby brother comes out at 46% in May or June of this year, hopefully, then I want to be able to compare those two so that's really all I wanted to say today for for the add-on and if you enjoyed today's show please hit like and subscribe and if you want to contact me you can email me at johnandre.com so hats off to you all and take care